Hey cute people, look at me. I'm up close and very personal with y'all today. And let me tell you, I struggle to get some good light. I am in front of the window, it's daylight, but the sun is too strong. So I'm hoping that this video, the lighting will be very, well, will be good, hopefully. And um, what I'm doing is very, very simple. If you're like me, you have more than one face. This face that I'm going to do today, I was requested to do it. I um, wore um, these particular items in my Black Radiance lipstick haul, and I was asked to recreate it. So thank you for that sweet Georgia Brown, and very sweet young lady. Go by and say hi to her. She asked me when I got the chance, can I... You know do this look so I said sure why not for you no problem but today I used um, Revlon's color stay and um, I'll list all the products in the description box so that way you know exactly what it is because I don't have my readers so I cannot really see and I hope that I'm light enough oh my goodness but I, try, I gotta stay out of the sun because the sun is so bright, it, it wash out everything. So just wish me luck. And then I did my brows. Now, if you watch me, you know that I have just as many brows as I have faces because I've tried some of everything. But someone asked me to do a um, how to, how I do my brows, and I'll do that because when it comes to brows, I'm telling you, I am very lazy. So I use this Wet n Wild pencil, which is working better for me than um, some other things I've tried. I'll talk about that later. And then I use the brow powder over it. This is from Maybelline. I used underneath my brow to clean it up and make it look a little polished, which I don't do all the time. And that is not a good thing. Again, we'll talk about that later. I use this Wet n Wild um, concealer. I don't remember what the name of it is, but remember again. In the description box and on top I used um, a concealer from Mac which I broke so I'll tell you more about that in the description box too because right now I can't read a darn thing on my broken ball too so now like I said this is a look that um, I wore in the black opal video so it's very very simple after I did all that because me myself I love makeup I love watching the young ladies do their thing on here which I call glam makeup but I just can't do all that sometimes okay so this I used on my eye lids that day and I just used a simple fluffy brush if I can find it and I just used this Sephora brush here and I used this color right here which I hope is not being washed out but it's a pretty pretty bronze color and I just run it through the color of course now you can use a um shadow brush if you want but I use this only because I wanted to get the color on pretty quick and because I just wanted color it didn't matter to me what I use but just put it on your eye and Blend it in so it won't be too harsh, but since it's a neutral color, and you put as much or as little as you want. I'm not worrying about a highlight color or anything. You could use your concealer for that if you want it's 
see it just gives me some color to my face so that um I don't look so bland and washed out mm -hmm. that's it right it's cool now I'm told you before I really like the wing liner but I don't do it much because at my age I'm telling you if you know anything about um, eyes and old people eyesight gives away which mine does so sometimes I have to be very careful how I do certain things because I can't see like I used to it's so unfortunate because I can do the wing liner but I only do it when I really feel like it because remember I told you I am makeup and hair lazy but we're gonna work it out a little bit here and like I said I may not wing it but wing eye looks very pretty. You know that, right? So, then I just put on, I just gotta use the big magnifying side now. And that's it. I don't want to be that old lady. I'm telling you. <laughs> you see those old women and their makeup is on all crazy. I don't want to be that old lady. I got a feel I'm going to be that old lady because I do love makeup. And it is not easy putting it on like it used to be. Oh my goodness. It is so funny. I'm telling you. I used to be able to put on eyeliner with just the, you know, how you young ladies do it. But I have to take my time so y'all be patient with an old lady, okay? And if I make little flicks and mistakes, I don't even worry about cleaning it up because I'll be forever in a day. I tell you, appreciate your young age and your eyesight, honey. Appreciate it. I had to get some contacts so I could see. Because all I wear really now are readers. I need glasses. And I like a thin line because I find if I make a thin line, it doesn't look as bad. It's like if I make a thicker line and I make an error, and it doesn't look good. But I just like a little, little wing. You know, really tiny. See? Because I love dark eyes. Oh my gosh. Okay, I kind of brought it out a little bit. Because I think with my type of eyes, that's why I love eye makeup more than anything. I just love dressing up my eyes. Okay, so that's what I did for my liner. So after I finish using that liquid liner, I'm going right back to using a pencil all the time. Because I can get down with that. But the liner, if I make a mistake, I just get so frustrated sometimes i'll correct it <laughs> sometimes i won't i'm a makeup mess the next thing i'm going to use is just their real benefit lash mascara i love this mascara as i told you guys several times before i have no lashes so i work for, with this too So this is me with my lashes finally done. Like I said, it seems like it takes forever, which I've talked about before from Avon. This is um, their big color pencil. This is Night Glisten. I love it, love it, love it. I wear it all the time. And I told you, I love a dark eye. And it just goes on so smooth. Then I'll take this little smudge brush and then I'll just kind of blend it out a little bit so it won't be so hard. Then 
is mine. Now, as you can see, I have dark circles. I'm gonna be honest to tell you, sometimes I do not care to have to cover them up. So I'm going to show you what I do, but before I do that, I'm going to put on blush. Yes, 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 y'all. This is Max Raisin. And I told you before, I like just a little bit of anything, really. So for eyes, you could do the eyes up. Now, me, myself, I think the dark circles really mess up my look. So, if I'm not going far, I don't worry about them too much. But I did tell you what I was going to do, right? I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so that's Max Raisin that I just put on my cheeky, cheeky, cheekies. Mm. Then I'll put on whatever lipstick it is that I'm going to wear. Being that I think my face is really kind of quiet, I'm going to liven it up a little bit with a dark lipstick. Let's see what I can find. So I'm going to use NYX's Cabaret. Just line up the lips. I definitely want to fill in my bottom lip. After that, I'm going to use Revlon's Black Cherry, which I really like. Lip brush from e.l.f. Just try to And this is my look. Mm -hmm. Just plain and simple. Oh yeah, I meant to show you what it is that I do to um, correct my um, dark circles. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what I do because if I'm trying to get out of the house and just want to add color to my face, I don't have time to be concealing and highlighting and contouring, which I don't do all the time. I do it sometimes. But just to be running errands and doing all that, I throw these readers on and I'm good to go to, to um, conceal my face where the dark circles are. wouldn't take a lot of time, but um, I'm old and I, I don't feel like doing all that stuff.
But anyway, thank you very much, Georgia Browning. I hope that I helped you a lot. And again, all the products will be listed in the description box. So I'm going to end this video now because it's Saturday, so there's always something to do. Always something to do. Even when you want to relax, there's always something to do around the house, outside the house. So I want to thank you all for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next and you know I want you to share and spread love. Hey cute people, if you missed my last video, you definitely can click this box and it'll take you right to view the video. Also, I am on social media, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram is Ebony Girl Speaks, and you can find me on Facebook, Ebony Girl Speaks Naturally.